Okay, let's talk about a frequency histogram. I have the quality ratings for natural peanut butter, and um, I have a histogram set up down here. And you'll notice that this is a, a relative frequency histogram, meaning I have the percents on the vertical axes instead of the count. So that means I need to figure out what percent goes in each interval instead of what count goes in each interval. So as I look at my numbers, um, down here my scale is going by tens. I don't have anything from 0 to 10 or from 10 to 20 or from 20 to 30. I have uh, one number from 30 to 40, one from 40 to 50, and from 50 to 60 I have three. And from 60 to 70, I have 7. From 70 to 80, I have 1. And from 80 to 90, I have 1. And then I don't have anything from 90 to 100. So altogether, there's 14 pieces of data. So as I look at this big section, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 14. So that's going to be 50%. Um, down here, I have 1 out of 14, which is about 7%. Um, both of those would be that, and over here, that would be about 7% for each of those. If 1 out of 14 is 7%, then 3 out of 14 is about 21%. So now if my percents figured out, I just need to go ahead and put it in my histogram. So in the 30 to 40, I'm going to fill this up almost to 10, to up to about 7. From 40 to 50, the same. Then from 50 to 60, I want 21, so I'm going to go up over, just over the 20 line. And then from 60 to 70, I need to go all the way up to the 50. From 70 to 80, again, I'm 7%. And then from 80 to 90, again, about 7%. And then that's it. And I can go ahead and color in that um, all of those bars so that it makes a nice histogram. And that's all there is to making a frequency histogram.